Well, I'll see you later, Shane. Uh, Matthew, it's nice meeting you. Yeah, same here. And Jared, I, uh, I hope to see you again, too. Well, boys, I gotta go get ready for this big shindig tonight, but I think I have time for one game of Velocity. It's your game, Matthew. I'll take you both on, two on one. Right now? Yeah, when else? Let's go. Okay. okay. <laughs> the only person who's ever beaten me in Velocity is my cousin, Natalie. And she's a girl. Yeah. Try not to worry, Vicky. Easy to say, huh? Well, if nothing else, the ball will be a distraction. Yeah, for all of us. And I'll be there. I'll have police units there and here and every place that Allison and Mitch were known to hang out. Thank you. Thank you very much for taking care of us. Okay. I'll see you at the palace. Okay. All right. Bye. I'm so sorry this is happening, Vicki. You know, I, I, I don't normally go from one dire circumstance immediately into another. I know. It's usually one month before each cataclysmic event. <laughs> I'm glad we can joke about it. Especially you, sweetheart. That woman put you through so much. Yeah. But she's also the one who gave me the proof of my true identity. I know. And I will be eternally grateful for that. I got my red-headed baby back. <laughs> I don't know this woman, but if she's smart, she'll get as far away as possible from the place she escaped from. Oh, I know. She's uh, very smart. Uh, actually, diabolical mm. is much more like it. Are you nuts? Why would you want to run into everybody who knows you and hates you? Hate is such a strong word. Oh, get a grip, Allison. The whole world is going to be looking for you, and that includes Bo and his crackerjack police force. They're going to spot you like two minutes at the ball. <laughs> Stop being such a downer, Roxy. And go get me something to wear and make it sexy and flashy and... Uh... Downright fabulous. Oh. Come on, go. Oh, yeah, let me see what I can whip up. Like, I got so many things to choose from. We'll make do. Yeah, well, we're not exactly the same size, you know. We'll make do. Go! Get it off your chest. Yeah, well, I got a lot to get off my chest tonight. Well, I, I, I was actually, I was trying to put my hand in. I was, I was afraid that, uh, you know, if someone could get their hand in there, then those secrets wouldn't be oh, secure. Oh, yeah. Well, I assure you, they are. Hi, Clint. Hi. Nora. Lindsay. What are you doing here so early? Oh, I came to help stuff the giveaway bags, and then I couldn't help coming over and looking at the exhibition. Any secrets you want to get off your chest, Clint? No, not at the moment. Well, it's... Only a dollar for a good conscience clearing. I mean, it's not a bad deal. I think it's a wonderful idea for a charity event. I just hope that people realize that just writing down a secret on a piece of paper and putting it in a box doesn't really heal their guilty conscience. Hmm. Such a cynic, Nora. I'm not being cynical. Well, I, I just believe that until you right the wrong you've committed or make amends to the people that you've hurt along the way, your guilty conscience will probably destroy you and the people that you love. It sounds like you've had a lot of experience with guilt. Hmm. Listen, I came here early to drop off B.E.'s donation for Go Red for Women, but now I gotta get home and change. Nora, can I give you a lift? Go ahead. This, this is your last chance now, because all these little boxes are gonna be put into one big box and the secret's destroyed and only the owners will know what it is they've truly gotten off their chest. Well, my chest is fine. Out another time. Nora, are you, are you coming? You look very handsome. Thank you. You look absolutely beautiful. Except for your face. I mean, the frown on your face. Better? Mm, fake doesn't cut it. 
It's the only smile that I'm capable of right now. Talk to me. I'm not for you're just gonna tell me that I'm wrong just like everybody else does. Kidding me? Never. You're my kid. You're never wrong. I think I may have misjudged some people. People that I thought that I trusted. I don't think I can trust them. I see. Well, uh, in situations like that, what you want to do, what I do, is confront them. Look them straight in the eye. You say, I'm on to you. I see how they react. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you know who they really are. Okay, but what if I find out that they are untrustworthy? <sighs> then you, you let them have it, man. You give them everything you got. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Manny. Hello, Langston. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay. You ready to go, Star? Yeah. I'm ready to go. It's hidden until I say Star is here. Cool? All right, dude, I'm gonna do one last check on things, all right? Now? Dude, Star is gonna be here in like less than okay. 10 minutes. Relax, all right? I'll be right back. Jeez. You're the one who's early. No, well, for once there was no traffic and I couldn't exactly call you. And okay, okay, start. where is she now? Oh, she's parking the car, but she'll be here any minute. Go, she can't see us. That's now. it. I have had it. No, 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 no. Sorry, listen. No, you listen to me. I have been cutting you too slack and I've been making excuses for weeks, but this, this is the last straw. I am not going to let you two make a fool out of me anymore. Let's start. You don't understand. Oh, I understand completely. My best friend and my boyfriend have been sneaking around or should I call you my ex-best friend and my ex-boyfriend? You sure have a big family? Yeah, whatever. I wish I had one. It's just me and my mom. Well, you know, my mom and I didn't know we were living here. We were just living in a regular house. You mean, like, small? Or a whole lot smaller. But you know, this place is cool. <laughs> it's amazing. So, uh, you and your mom going back to Texas soon? I don't know. I hope not. I like it here. I want to stay here a lot longer. Maybe even forever. <gasps> Was I lucky or what? Oh, she, she fits perfectly. You look beautiful. Thank you. Far cry from my bonjour uniform, huh? I'll say yes. Yeah. Teddy, <laughs> you're not ready. Hey, no, I, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it, Mom. I've been kind of headachy all day. I think I might be coming down with something. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry. Yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll be all right, you know, with cops everywhere. Well, listen, if you feel better and change your mind, please come, will you? Of course I will, but you too. Okay. have fun. Both okay. of you. I hope your headache goes away. Thanks, me too. All right, darling, I'll call you later. Okay. Come along, Gigi, our pumpkin awaits. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, thank God you answered your phone. I can't talk for long. Any news? Nothing other than they're looking for two young ladies dressed as nuns. Oh, great. Yeah. Your mom just left for the ball. You didn't go with her? I can't. Natalie, you have to go. I would go, but I, I can't leave Bree at home with the sitter, not with Allison on the loose. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, I, I gotta go. Bye. Oh. Really worried about this, huh? Uh, yeah especially since it's my fault.